Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be working inside my standard size plain traveller's notebook insert which I keep inside this vintage light cover from Start Bay Notebooks. And what I'm hoping to do today is play around with a few different things. I was looking through my newest book and I was looking at the junk journal pages actually. And I quite, there's a few things that I did with these pages. This was a magazine cutout. I also did some paint swatches. So I think what I'm gonna do is perhaps try and combine a couple of those ideas onto my journal pages today. So I've got a few supplies out. So I've got some old book pages there. I've also got one of the free gardening magazines and I was quite drawn to this image here. And also my mum has given me some old music books so I might use those for the collage as well. So I'm getting towards the end now of this insert and I'll definitely film a flip through once I'm all the way through. So I'm going to just pop my underlay board down there for now and the clip that I use is a Tools to Live By brand and I find that quite helpful just for trying to keep things a bit flat especially when I get towards the end of the journal. And the first thing I'm going to do which is what I nearly always do is add some washi tape to my page. And I'm going to use this roll which is from my new product range with London Gifties. So I'm just going to tear those roughly to size and that always feels like such a lovely start to me that I've got something nice and pretty already on the page starting to break up a little bit of that blank, that white space. So the next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut this image out because then I'll get a feel for how much space it's going to take and what other papers I want to place behind it. Okay, so that's now cut out and magazines I think are such a great place to go if you're looking for some lovely images to include in your journals. So I'm going to tear up some of these pieces. And when I'm doing things like this, I'm I don't tend to have anything particular in mind, just that I want to make sure I can see a little bit of everything kind of when I put all the papers on top of each other. Okay, so now I've got these, I'm just going to play around with them. I think I might put the darker one at the back. and put them over. I like to have them so they go slightly over the washi tape. Yeah, I'm happy with that because I can see little bits of all three of the papers as well as the flower clearly on top. So I'm just going to use a pencil to mark the corners. So I now know exactly where I want those to go. And the glue I'm going to use to put these on my page is Pritt Stick. And I find this sort of simple collaging another really relaxing way to just start adding some elements to my page 
it helps my mind to switch off from things. And this morning I've had quite a stressful morning for reasons I won't go into, but uh, so no, just being able to sit and do this really, really does help me. Just playing around with bits of paper, but knowing that I'm creating something which is totally personal to me. Nobody else is likely to have exactly the same things. And I think even our choices of paper say something about us. So that's those down. I just want to tear a little bit off the bottom of this. I love it when free magazines get put through the door. I think it's perfect before they go anywhere near my recycling. The first thing I'm looking for is to see if there's anything at all that I might be able to use in my journals. Okay, so I've got that down now. And the next thing I want to do is just play around with this flower a little bit. So I'm going to use, I've got a Uniball Signo white gel pen here. And I'm just going to draw some little dots going up around the stem and the flowers. And I think it's a nice way of using something from magazines, but personalising it slightly. You could add things like um, little stitch, mar stitch marks or dashes. And I've seen other people do great things with like faces from magazines, but then changing them completely, perhaps putting flowers coming out from their hair. And I really like things like that, being a bit creative, especially with some of the kind of free things that you get or things that you would normally throw away, finding fun ways to use them in your journals. And again, it's just another quick way of being able to personalize something, change it ever so slightly. So I'm just going to do this all the way around the outline. And these gel pens I find particularly good for using on a wide range of mediums actually. I nearly always have about three or four of these on my desk because I never want to run out. I do have some Posca paint pens which are brilliant as well but these are great for the kind of fine nibs. So I've now got that on there. So I've decided I want to add something else on this page and this is from my Patreon printables. So I'm just going to snip out the bottom part because I don't want to cover up too much of the flower if I can avoid it. I'm going to get that as close to the ends as I can. Okay, I'm happy with how that's looking, so I'm going to glue that straight down. It's going slightly over the flowers, but not too much at all. The next thing I'm going to do is just add some little lines coming off this quote, just to help make it a part of the background papers so that it all looks like it ties in together. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add one other little thing to this little cluster. I'm just going to add a tiny strip of this thin washi tape. I think I might add that coming down there. 
Okay, so the next thing I think I'm going to do is I quite liked those paint swatches that were in my book. So I think I'm going to just mix up some watercolour paint quickly and tie it in with some of the colours from this flower and also the washi tape. So I've quickly mixed up these three colours and the watercolour paint I'm using today is the Kuretake Ganzai Tambi range. I've had these for so long and hadn't used them for quite a while for some reason but I've dug them out again recently and I'm just enjoying having a play. So I'm not going to do anything particularly special with these. I just fancied adding some more splashes of colour. So I'm going to use my paints, I think, to add some little squares down here and then possibly above here as well. So we'll see how it looks. I'm going to start off with a purple. I enjoy watercolour so much that even if I'm not doing anything kind of more special if you like, like flowers. I still really enjoy having that look of watercolour on my page. So in my junk journal, particularly if I've got paint left over in my palette, like I will probably from this, you'll often find that I've got little squares or rectangles or circles, something like that, along the edge of my junk journal pages. It's a lovely way to use up any leftover paint and also it kind of gives a hint, perhaps in your other journals, of things that you've been working on as well. So I was doing some watercolour over the weekend, just for fun really, some painting, and those little splashes that I've then put in my junk journal is a really nice reminder of kind of the colour palette that I was using at the time. And I think that's given that a really lovely extra splash of colour. And of course you could come back and add some little doodles or patterns inside those if you like. And this is Tomo River paper in this insert, so it holds watercolour reasonably well, but you can see that it kind of warps and crinkles a little bit, which causes the watercolour to pool slightly. I love that effect, I think it's so interesting. So I'm just going to quickly dry all this off with a heat tool. Now that's dry, I want to add some stamping to my page. I'm not quite sure which I'm going to use yet. Uh, these are all from London Gifties and I'm going to use this Versa Magic chalk ink in the colour Spring Pansy. As you can see, this is quite a bright spread. I think because the weather's been so warm and sunny here and the flowers are definitely out in the gardens, I'm being inspired by all of those lovely colours I'm seeing around me and that definitely ends up getting reflected in my journals and the types of colours that I use. I'm going to put my a bird there. So it'd be nice to have something kind of nature, nature-ish to go along with the flowers. I think I then might use this lovely butterfly too. I like having bits of stamping and other ephemera because I want to add quite a lot of writing to my journal page but I really enjoy having that space broken up a little bit and it feels a lot less intimidating then for me. And now for a little bit of contrast, I'm going to use these ticket stamps again from London Gifties, but I'm going to use some black ink. And that really is a preference choice on whether you like contrast on your pages. I quite enjoy seeing something a little bit bolder, especially against all those bright colours. And then I think I'm going to add one just popping up out of these watercolour squares up here. Okay. And 
And to tie in with the black inks that I've used there, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black detailing around the watercolor squares as well. And for this, I'm using a black Muji gel pen. And I think all I'm gonna do is just add a couple of loose outlines around them. So I'm just going round them twice, but really loosely so that they, the lines kind of go over each other. That's just to bring a bit of extra black in so that the stamps kind of aren't the only thing with that colour in. And I'm going to do that on the top and bottom two of these as well. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add a quote to my pages and for this I'm going to be using a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib. So now I've got that quote done, I'm going to move on to my journal writing and what I'm going to write about is one of the prompts that I released on Patreon this month is what negative stories do you need to stop telling yourself? And that's kind of why I picked the, the quote, believe you can and you're halfway there because that ties in really nicely with the prompt that I'm going to be writing about. So that's those journal pages all complete and the fountain pen that I used was this Kaweco Sport which I got from Colt Pens and the ink I used because I know I'll be asked was the Pilot Hiroshizuku and the colour is Kujaku and I think it's a gorgeous colour. So what I used my journal pages for in this, and I find it really helpful, so I thought I'd just take a minute to kind of talk about it. So the prompt that I was working on, as I said, is what's one of the biggest negative stories that I need to stop telling myself. And one of the things I found recently is that when something small goes wrong, I kind of think I'm not good enough, I'm not capable of achieving my goals, my dreams. And that one small thing can be enough to really knock me off course and keep me in a negative cycle, which then tends to lead to more things going wrong and so it continues. And I've used this left hand page to really just get that out of my system, the kind of the ways that I beat myself up sometimes. And then when I came to the right hand page, I've started trying to look for a few solutions. So I've said I need to keep reminding myself of how, how far I've come over the last couple of years. I've achieved things that I never would even have dreamt were possible. 
but that sometimes gets lost in day-to-day -day life, just little problems. And then I thought perhaps I should create an achievements board to remind me uh, of these things every day. Because I've got a kind of vision board for things that I still want to achieve and focus on. But I'm wondering about the idea of doing some sort of achievements board. And that only came to me from writing in my journal, perhaps an achieve achievements page in my journal. And putting some photos of things that really inspire me and lift me up and just kind of put me in a more positive frame of mind. So I hope that helps just to kind of give you some ideas of the sorts of things that I write about and how I put my journal pages together. If you did enjoy the video it'd be great if you'd leave it with a thumbs up. If you've got any questions as always or any comments please do leave them down below. I love chatting with you in the comments section. And as always, I want to just say the biggest thank you to everybody who's supporting me over on Patreon. I really appreciate you. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.